Last time on Sailing Zatara. While island hopping between Greece and Turkey, we've enjoyed exploring the Mediterranean, getting used to our boat, and living the incredible life of a cruising family. I tell you a story about me and you Out on the water, surrounded by the blue They scream that only I'll be saved They tell us off the line, but I just let it flow away We've been hanging out between Greece and Turkey for nearly six months now, and it's just about time to move on and continue our westward journey through the Mediterranean and on to the Atlantic Ocean. Anchorage in Pythagoria and we're heading over here to this large bay. It's kind of gravelly, washed river rock bay and it goes for about two three miles towards the east coast of Turkey and it's a great place to kiteboard because the northerly Meltimis blow off the mountains down into here and we're just going to spend two or three days over here kiteboarding and getting better at trying to get out of the water because me and Jack just aren't that good at kiteboarding yet. So we're looking forward to sitting out here on a bare anchorage and some good winds over the next three or four days and exciting times on the Z-Boat. Go shred the gnaw. It's gonna be totally bodacious, bro. Let's get on it. Yes. Yes. March 5th, you've got that. Okay. What are you I don't know what we're doing. What we're are we? We're trying to figure out our Schengen days one more time to make sure. Yeah. Was that in or out? Because I don't have that. I have March 25th. That was March 25th. Uh, that's just not the two. They, they didn't get yeah. the two. There we go. We can count y'all's days in Schengen. Yeah, but you gotta know when it starts. Well, it starts when you got here. Mm -hmm. So April 25th, we check. Uh, to April 25th in Shingham. Let's do that one. This is from Paris. This is from crack out of Paris. We were in Paris the 20th. Once we arrived in Greece, our Shingen time limit clock started. However, we had lots of time to kill while the rigging was getting done on the boat. So we took a couple of weeks to explore several places that we'd always wanted to go. Our journey started with Israel, including Jerusalem and Bethlehem. Hey, oh, man, do you, yes. you hear that? Yes. If you want to touch the western wall, you got to go to the women's side. The women's side, yes. And the men go to the next side.
Next, we flew to Poland and toured Auschwitz, the concentration camps in Birkenau. Somebody's excited to see her friend. <laughs> we then flew to Belgium and made good on a promise that we'd made almost a year before. One of the great things about the cruising lifestyle is the friends that you make out here. There's a lot of acquaintances you make in your life, but out here in the cruising world, the, some of the people that you choose to cruise with and boat with, they become lifelong friends. Goodbye. Give her a really long I know, but she didn't. It's bittersweet because everybody's got their own itinerary and their own schedule. So when you've cruised with somebody for three, four, five, six months, and then you have to say goodbye, it's very hard. Just like the tides that come and go, so does the friendships that we make. Only these friendships will last forever. One of our very special families that we've met out here that we've cruised ever since the Galapagos with is Steve, Donna, Arna, Mighty, and Liv. They're very dear to our hearts. We're just going to miss you guys. We'll see you again in Belgium. Fair winds and following seas. We were so excited to get to visit with our sailing friends who unfortunately are done sailing. They showed us some of the beautiful artifacts of Belgium and also some of the World War I memorials. We had no idea what monumental events took place here over a hundred years ago. After that, we hopped the train to Paris. By this time, we'd learned how to find cheap flights and train fares. Kate had always wanted to see the Eiffel Tower, so we made it happen. We only stayed in each place for two or three days. We used Airbnb and Expedia and found really affordable places to stay. And we got well acquainted with public transportation. Next stop was the bullet train to London, England. Anna was on cloud nine seeing all the places we'd only read about or seen in the movies. At King's Cross Station, we hopped the train to Edinburgh, Scotland. It's a little chilly, but it's really pretty. I'd say the weather's perfect. It really is. It's really Beautiful cold. Castles. Even though every place we visited was packed with tourists and vendors, it was still an excellent journey and EasyJet flights back to Greece were extremely affordable. So all in all, it was a fantastic adventure. But we now had to figure out how much time we'd actually spent in Schengen countries. It's been like an hour, you haven't sit here. What'd you discover? What'd you find out? So here, here, is, the ba here is the base rule for Schengen. Okay. I had a base rule. Was yeah, nice yeah, 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 this is the okay, same thing. Okay, be quiet. So the, the new definition simplifies the calculation and is based on a rolling 180 days from the date of entry. This means on any given day you need to look back to the previous 180 days and must not have stayed in the Schengen zone for more than 90 days in that period, including entry and exit dates. Where yeah, I the, just said that. Yeah, I, well, I was doing it for the camera. Okay. Okay. We're okay. just doing it for the yeah, camera. Yeah, but my explanation was better. Okay, all right. We're, start over again. No, I don't get, care. Get, get, I don't care. I don't care. It's fine. Okay, so when can we check in? In a week. Greece? September eighth. A week. A week. September eighth. We can check. We could check in now, but we could only stay fifty days. If they enforce that. Yeah. Yeah. In other words, I'm not going to set that up. I'm just going to. I'm just going to come up short to it, so I can get the sail up.
it's a beautiful place with a lot of a lot of antiquities, a lot of culture, but it's not for adventure people because everything here has been done. The the sea is is having a hard time. The, the water, the wildlife is having a very hard time, and it's just not a great adventure place for for us. It, it is for a lot of people. People who like to drink wine and go sit out at little cafes and drink wine and have coffee and espressos and all those wonderful things. That's uh, that's uh, that's what uh, this place is for. But it's really not for me. I mean, and I'm not dogging it. I'm just. It's beautiful. There's beautiful, beautiful landscapes, beautiful topography, and we're gonna help these guys right here get this anchor off their deal. You ready to go get groceries? Yep. Let's go provision. Okay. We're gonna go get groceries. Can some I go? Groceries. No. No, because no, me and Dad are gonna fill up the dinghy with groceries and ourselves. That reminds me of the South Pacific. Okay. <laughs> so this dinghy, this anchorage here, is really, really. You can see. Give me that. Give me that. So this is gonna be our last night in Turkey. Our last night in Turkey. Turkey, it's our last night in Turkey. So the exchange rate for the lira versus the dollar right now is really good. It's like um, six to one or six fifty to one dollar. So. We bought as many groceries as we could, stocking up as best we can before we leave Turkey. And we could have got more, but that's all that would fit in the dinghy. It's a special time. Can you check out tomorrow? Uh, yeah, but we're going to come in here and med more right there. Oh, goody. And it's going to, because they're going to charge us the same fee whether we sit here for one minute or we sit here for overnight. So we're bringing the boat in tonight? Yeah. Okay. That is a con. We can't bring come in with a dinghy to check out? Nope. And they're going to be our agent because you got to go all the way down to the... The customs or something. Yeah. Customs. And I just, for 70 bucks, they're going to do this for us. Thank you. 
All right, we're going to check out a turkey. Checking out, checking in. Finally. Checking out. What did you think of turkey, Anna? Okay, bye. You have a green <laughs> shirt on. Join us next time as we sail 250 nautical miles towards Athens, Greece, and we begin the rest of our Mediterranean adventure. <laughs>